Stalker Clear Sky is a game full of mysteries, secrets and hidden objects for the player to discover. Hello Stalkers and welcome to the Anomalous Dugout, in the third part of our showcase of the secrets of the game. In this part we will take a look at what we can find in the Dark Valley, the Agroprom and the Agroprom Underground. Starting from Freedom's base, we have one box inside the collector system, then also one box in this trailer right in the middle of the base, then one inside the commander's office, also one near the trader, and one uh, in the back of this truck, and finally another one near the entrance of Chekhov's office. Then there is a whole section of the base that is not really supposed to be accessed but you can still go to using this passage for example. And this section is very radioactive but it does have some loot. So there is an artifact here near, near the electro anomalies. And near the comet anomaly in this tunnel there are a lot of wooden crates. So I didn't get any loot from these so maybe they never contain anything, I'm not sure. But it's interesting to see that there are a lot of crates around here. And in the rest of the buildings there are some crates laying around us. As you can see, this area is extremely radioactive. And the loot is not really that good, so it's not really worth it to go here because you're going to consume a lot of anti-rads. Unless you have a lot of uh, anti-rad artifacts, of course. But it's still interesting to see this area and there is also this box on the roof. To the northwest of the base there is an anomaly with the corpse of a mercenary and an artifact. And then to the east of the base we have this crane with a box and also a box inside the gas station. And then on the containers of the gas station there will be chemical anomalies with an artifact as well. Moving on to the southern parts of the map we have this camp with a small box and the farm which has some metal boxes as well as wooden boxes inside the farm buildings and there will be also a box inside here and near the wall there are a lot of box piled up and there will be medical supplies in here so that's that's pretty cool moving on to the east we have this fault anomaly which is very dangerous but contains an artifact as well and then we have this trailer which has some boxes and also inside the building the factory building here we have those boxes as well as one near this tunnel and we have an anomaly in the corner here which usually contains an artifact as well so that's it for the dark valley now we go to the agroprom and inside the various camps of duty you will find a lot of boxes with some interesting loot as well as the usual green box with the loot of the stalkers so be sure you check every every box in here there are also some inside uh, this vehicle as well and moving on to this bus stop we also have some crates the box and also some on the bench here and then we have an interesting uh, okay we have this this bus and then we have this interesting truck on which you can jump here to the front and if you are skilled enough you can fall here and there will be a pistol as well as a grenade inside as well as this crate. The southern checkpoint also has some boxes, so one metal box here, another one here and the crate with some loot. 
Then we have this camp near the BTR with the crate and also small metal boxes. And we have an anomaly here near the transition to the swamps with an artifact. Next up we go to the base of duty in which we have a lot of loot in the different buildings. There is a box here as well as a lot of wooden crates. Don't forget this one in the corner. And in this room you are able to find a guitar. So unfortunately you cannot play it but it's a random kind of easter egg item that you can find. Then we have other small crates in this building, which is the Mutant Zoo, by the way, that's interesting. Then go back outside, we have crates around this building near the bushes. And inside the building itself, we also have some crates. Then inside this building where the merchant is, we have crates that you can destroy like this. And also near the firing range, as well as in these metal extractors, you can pick up some items such as these energy drinks. And in the bar, there will be also food, vodka and other small items that you can basically steal without any trouble. Then we have the watchtowers. Uh, all the watchtowers have a small crate. Sometimes they are difficult to pick up because of the guard. But all the watchtowers don't have a guard so you can get those. And at the back of the main building, we also have some crates in here. So if you get too close to the building, the character will put down his knife. So you have to be a little bit tricky to be able to destroy these crates. But it's possible. As you can see. And then we'll go into the main building in which we have some food uh, in the ground floor as well as a crate here. You can destroy it by just um, rushing at it at full speed. And at the top floor we have a crate here that you cannot really destroy. I guess you could if you could draw your weapon. When you will approach the hole to go into the catacombs it will be attacked by snorks. And what you want to do is protect the duty sergeant, the one that has a shotgun. Because if he lives, he's gonna give you this shotgun and it will be in perfect condition. So try to protect him from the snorks. And after the battle is over, if the sergeant survives, he will give you um, his SPSA 14 shotgun in perfect condition as well as some ammo. If he dies, the shotgun will still be able to be looted from his corpse, but it won't be in perfect condition. So, the battle is won, you can talk to the sergeant, and he gives you the shotgun as well as some ammo for it. Now let's head into the tunnels. Now we go into the underground, there will be a crate here, and up this ladder there are a lot of loot on the shelves so don't forget to pick this a lot of ammo as well as medkits so that's that's interesting that's pretty cool a crate here and then inside this very large room where you fight the controller there are also a lot of small boxes as well as wooden crates scattered around so they don't really contain that much but it's still interesting to see that they filled this area with such crates. There will be some uh, at the top near the valves here and also in the corners of the map and yeah near these bridges that cross the 
I'm not sure what these are, but these round structures. So, yeah, these don't contain anything, unfortunately. There will be one as well in, in the water here and another one. And before the valve, you have this crate. And now this one as well. After you activate the valve, you will have a limited amount of time to get out of the tunnels. But you can still pick up all the loot that there is to pick. There we have one crate here and another crate on the right side of the room, right there. Then um, after the stairs there will be a stash, maybe you don't have it, but if you have it, it is still possible to pick it up right there. Then we have some small boxes here near these tubes. And the next boxes are wooden boxes that you can get all with a grenade. If you try to get them with a knife, you don't have time to get out. So here we pick up the medkit very quickly and run to the exit. We arrive in the upper part of the underground. We have this crate here and then Strelok's stash. Unfortunately, it doesn't contain as much loot as there was in Shadow of Chernobyl, but there are still these two boxes in here. And in the next room, we have all these crates near the bandits that you are supposed to kill, as well as this crate. And in the final staircase, we have crates lying around while um, the poltergeists are trying to get you. This crate has a lot of ammo for some reason. And still, yeah, the crates are kind of blocking you from getting away from the poltergeist. But here goes, we now get out of the tunnels. And going north, we have this artifact there. As well as this camp near the train cart. And a box inside. And then we have uh, this camp at the end of the tunnel, which is usually inhabited by bandits. There are a lot of small boxes in here. Uh, don't forget to check the box here. And as well, uh, the train inside the train. And also inside this thing, we have some boxes that are kinda hidden. I also want to mention that there is this trader here, a uh, hermit, and he sells some interesting weapons. He sells yeah, uh, upgraded assault rifles as well as an RPG, so that's something you can get here if you have enough money. Then uh, in the train carts inside the loner base, as well as this wall of boxes. Um, I think it's empty, unfortunately. Then we have uh, the rooftops of the base, which have some ammo and other things here. On the other side of the roofs, we have this crate. And inside this building, there are anomalies, electro anomalies, as well as a lot of psi emissions. But there are some artifacts in there, so there there is one on this floor, as well as some corpses. And on the other floor, on the top floor, there will be usually another artifact, as well as boxes. So you can pick those up. And yeah, that's basically it for this. For this building. Uh, then we have the actual base of the loners which have this this box here and a box near the prisoners in here. There is one under the stairs and then uh, inside the bathroom we have this energy drink. There is one crate here but I'm not sure how you're supposed to get it. Maybe you cannot. And on the top floor, we have one uh, here, as well as the 
one here and uh, the usual box with stuff inside. Then there is the camp on the hill which has a box with loot from the bandits usually. And this small camp near the anomaly which has an artifact. So here the artifact kinda got trapped in the anomaly but it still fell down in the end. We have this house in the swamp which has a lot of anomalies but ammo inside and inside the swamp itself there is an artifact in these very dangerous uh, chemical anomalies and if you get here after completing the main quests of the agroprom there will be a task to help some stalkers traverse the swamp against the zombies and if you succeed you will be rewarded with an improved version, an upgraded version of the Stalker Sunrise suit, which is very nice. So here we complete the quest and we have this upgraded version of the Sunrise suit. That's pretty cool. And that will be the end of part 3. Most probably I forgot to show some loot, so if you know about any of that, be sure to comment it down below. And in the next episode, we will take a look at Yantar, the Red Forest, and the Army Warehouses. Until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.